So guys, hi, how are ya? Listen, it's night. I got my little light ahead of me. I hope it doesn't fall because it's on a metal hook. But um, anyway, I thought I'd tell you a story so you can go to bed, a bedtime story about uh, an experience. I'm gonna try and keep it short. Anyway, I don't know why I'm whispering. It's night. Um, so I'm sure all of you know about Gavin Newsom, our governor of California, and his big scandal over the French Laundry. Well, in 1985 or 86, I'm not exactly sure, I had this foo-foo boyfriend who was a food connoisseur, a wine connoisseur. I'm a very simple person, so I really, it, you know, I was not impressed, but oh my goodness, you know, he was always taking me to fancy places, so I had never heard of the French Laundry. And he, um, and I lived in, uh, in uh, Richmond at the time, and um, French Laundry is in Yonkville. And Yonkville is a real tiny town in Sonoma Valley, um, cl kinda close to Napa. A beautiful little town, they had a wonderful uh, train ride, they call it the wine train, and you'd sit on there for hours and drinking wine and whatever. So, um, this, this chef, the French Laundry chef, and I forget his name, oh my goodness, well anyway, doesn't matter. His name doesn't matter, you can look it up. Uh, he started, I believe, in 1974, and, um, so I went there in 1986, and by then he was, he had, he wasn't super famous, but he had built quite a reputation. It was a, 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 a little, I don't want to say tiny restaurant, I think he had 20 or 30 tables only. He, he served one meal a day. It started like at uh, five o'clock, only one setting. You paid, we paid $150 just to sit down. That's to walk in, but what came with that was all the, f the food that he served, no um, pick of the menu. You got what they were serving for that evening. I mean, now he did serve uh, uh, special desserts. You could pick your dessert, but the food was, it was set. It was the menu that he had that night. Uh, if I remember right, okay? You got to remember that was 33 years ago or 34 years ago. So um, anyway, my boyfriend took me there. And um, I had polio when I was a child, so I don't sit for long periods of time, or I didn't then because I have real problems, you know, leg cramps and other things. So, it took five hours, five hours to eat, okay? The food was absolutely delicious. Uh, I can never complain about the food. It was, and it, it wasn't fancy place, it was simple, uh, but, the, but it was elegant and um, the food was fabulous. And you had to pay separately for wine and, um, you had to pay separately. No, I think the dessert came with the food. There were a couple of things you had to pay for separately. I think my boyfriend's bill, because he likes wine, and I drank it with him, um, and I think he had a couple bottles. It was a, another $100 additional, whatever he was doing, my boyfriend. Anyway, so about just before the dessert, we had just finished, and we were sitting there for like four hours, and I, I was having terrible cramps in my legs and I said to my boyfriend I said I can't stand this I ha while, uh, while they're doing this dessert thing I'm gonna go outside I have to walk around I, I have to I have to get out of here so they had a he had at that time a little patio in the back that overlooked the back it was a wooded area it was very pretty and I went back there well there was this man standing there and he had on a white jacket he didn't have on a hat, you know, and he, oh, hi, how are you, and I'm, I'm fine, you know, I said, God, I just had to get up, that's the longest meal I've ever had in my life, and I started complaining, he goes, well, uh, uh, what about the food, and I go, oh, the food's excellent, that's not the problem, the problem is, you know, sitting there, I said, I, and we're still waiting for dessert, you know, we're talking five hours, I, you know, I was just really um, uh, outspoken and obnoxious, and this man was very nice, 
and um so he you know he talked to me and he goes you know what kind of desserts do you like and I said you know I'll just take whatever he serves me I said the food is delicious I I shouldn't complain and I'm sorry I'm I you might even be the cook in there I don't know you know I don't know who you are dishwasher or cook I said but uh, thank you for being so nice and I'm sorry I complained you know and I, I felt bad after I had you know complained and I felt better and I went back in and I sat down well about 30 minutes later this man with a chef's hat the man who was outside brought in a he had everybody else was served by their server but he personally brought the dessert to our table and a free bottle of wine for my boyfriend because I had told him my boyfriend's into this wine I don't know how much money he's spending and um, he was the chef I was talking to the owner the chef and he said thank you for t I mean he stood there and he talked to me and uh, I, I thought my my boyfriend was gonna fall out of his chair and because uh, he had no clue that I'd been outside talking to this guy who I didn't know and so the chef, chef said do you need to get up and walk around I go yeah and so he walked me around outside and we talked a little bit you know and I told him oh, I'm so sorry he goes no you were just fine he goes thank you so much he was just the sweetest man it's just a short story about a very sweet man who uh, started out with this little building and I think 20 tables or 10 tw uh, tables he had an idea and he's been very successful and he's my age so I think we were talking about age and I mean you know um, neither one of us were married I mean he didn't come on to me or anything like that but you know we just talked about our lives outside and finally I went in and I sat down with my boyfriend and he had calmed down and had a little of his wine and but uh, it was a beautiful evening and he was a very nice man I really really enjoyed him he made the whole meal so this famous French laundry it's it's a fabulous place I don't know how much it cost to go right now but in 1985 or 86 it was 150 dollars just to sit down so that's my little uh, bedtime story about um, meeting the chef of the French Laundry, where Newson had this huge event, you know, everybody talks about whatever. But I was there 33 years ago when he was pretty, pretty new. So you guys have a nice evening, and I hope you enjoyed that story, because, you know, I figure it's all in the news, and maybe I should tell my little story about the French Laundry. Thank you for watching, and thumbs up, and you have a good evening.